maybe you can tell us a bit about uh, your career from uni or, or before uni, maybe like talk about how you came upon, like you found industrial design and you know, your experience at uni quickly and then what you're doing now and how you've evolved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my experience of design started, I think, pretty early. I was really, really lucky that um, I went to a school that, that taught design and, and had a, a whole class, you know. In fact, it was a technology college and we had multiple design classes. Like, do you want to do textiles? Do you want to oh, do wow. uh, materials, we called it, like woodworking and stuff like that? Do you want to do packaging design? Like there was, uh, and graphic design, there was, there was like a series of classes you could take for uh, GCSE level. Um, and so, so that already, you know, that gave me a choice of like, what do I want to go into? That, that was, I think I was really lucky in that, in that aspect. Um, after that, I, I, I chose product design and, and just carried on. Uh, never really, I never really stopped to wonder what I was doing. I was just like, I like doing that. I'm just going to carry on doing that. So then, um, you know, choosing A-levels, I made sure I, I, I found a place that offered product design that I could do A-levels. And then university, uh, I went to Brunel in London. So Brunel University, London. Um, and that I think kickstarted, uh, being around it, it, it says that it's in London, but that's it's, it's a lie. I think it's like an hour and a half to get to London. It's right on the outskirts. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. But, um, but to be vaguely close to where some some jobs might be, I think that really helped. Um, and I had some work experience off the back of a careers fair that they held. Um, I managed to get a job as a uh, actually it was a graphic designer job at. Um, Pinewood Studios, which is just down the, down the road. Um, and Pinewood Studios, you know, it's where they film Star Wars and, oh, and James Bond and stuff like that. So that was like great to be able to work there while I, while I was doing uni. I didn't see anything exciting, but I wasn't allowed in any of those rooms, but I was told that on the other side of, of, of that wall, <laughs> that is the set for the Millennium Falcon oh, my while God. they were filming episode seven. So I must've been like, you know, just on the other side of the wall, I was this far away, but I, I wasn't allowed to see it, but you know, wow. that was pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, and then, you know, one thing led to the next, just that, that small part-time graphic design job led on to the next thing, um, where for my placement year, so Bruno University, they give you one year to um, go out and get a job, and then you go back and do your final year of, of, of uni. And for my year, I worked at a company called Paul Coxedge Studio, who um, is more of an artist than, than a designer. He does these like bespoke uh, gallery installations and lighting, you know, public space arts like that. Uh, and then my second half of that year, I spent at a company called uh, Precipice Design. Uh, but then uh, and, and they do uh, medical design and packaging design from it. So like, it's a very different uh, part of the design world. Uh, and they've since rebranded as, as recipe design now. But um, anyway, that, I, I went back to work for them after university. I stayed there for about a year or two years. I can't quite remember that, two years maybe. Uh, and then now I work at a company called Layer Design. Uh, and I've been there for uh, just over a year, but with the pandemic and everything. Uh, yeah, I, I've worked there for a year. So um, yeah, that's, that's where I am now. <laughs> and this is where my audio gets cut off. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry about this, but uh, basically at this point I was asking Sam whether he thought that, uh, and what his experience was with the way that design differs according to your culture. Uh, so uh, if you're looking at English design, French design, Italian design, uh, American design, if you, if you look at all these different kinds of design, how it differed in his experience and how he's approached it kind of um, in that way. Hmm, that's a good question. I think, uh... 
I mean, I've, I've had the pleasure of working with designers from, from around the world, like uh, both, both at Recipe Design and at Leia. Um, it's like a, a multi-national team, which is, which is really good. Uh, in terms of like the education system, I, I couldn't say like the differences. Uh, and even in the UK, I know that there's a lot of variance in, in like styles of university in the UK, but I've only been to, ever been to one. So I don't, I don't know much about like the, the differences. Uh, but I think mostly it's, it's all going to be like a, um, a mindset thing. And w without being stereotypical, uh, it, it's not about being stereotypical, you know, or like quintessentially English or quintessentially Italian or anything like that. But the, the, the culture in, in those places is going to influence the, um, the design and, and, and what people deem to be good. Um, so it, it's, it's, there's always going to be a mindset difference, which I think is great to be able and, and to have multiple mindsets in, in one team is amazing. And you, you know, if I, if I was just to think of a, a really obvious way of showing that is like a, a car design in England is going to be different to a car design in Italy. You know, that, that's just off the top of my head, you know, Lamborghini and Ferrari is very different to um, like a, a Aston Martin or something like that. Um, and that comes from different mindsets and, and, and things. So um, I think without that, everything would be pretty bland uh, and just the same. So I, I'm happy that everybody's solving the same problems, but with a different, uh, a different mindset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, because, yeah, yeah, I mean, I've, I've noticed because I've, you know, I've spoken to a lot of people and I had, I had the opportunity to um, actually go and uh, do some work with uh, some students in Coventry University in the industrial design uh, uh, degree uh, when I was there for, for the lockdown and um, you can feel the difference. I mean, I, I felt the difference. <laughs> Um, in France, also, like design is 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 taught more in schools. Like in, it, it's kind of like the equivalent of a college, but it's not really the same level of education as a college, because um, it's not a university where you have multiple disciplines. It's it's more like a school for one discipline, uh, mm -hmm. and already that changes so many things uh, from learning industrial design in a university, uh, and. Uh, I, th I think I would have enjoyed going to uni in, in England, uh, maybe a little more than I did in France. Um, and in France, you have so much, such an, like, an artistic side to it, mm. I found. Like when I was studying uh, industrial design, it was very like, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily the aesthetic point of view, but it was, it was very artistic. Um, mm. It was very like, okay, like, like research them, you know, uh, change mediums and try paint and try this and that. And it was nice. It was really, really nice because now it's also part of like sometimes my process where I look at things differently. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, I, yeah, I feel like there's, there's a lot of differences uh, in the way we do design in different countries. Mm, yeah, I, yeah, that's a great point. And I think, um, I wonder if the university, you know, like you said, some, some universities are going to, to be more experiential and experimental. Uh, and Brunel, as an example, is very engineering based. It's very like, you know, you will learn how to take apart this tool and put it back together. Like it's oh, yeah. so okay. traditionally, traditionally engineering based. Uh, I feel like I missed out on some of that more yeah. experimental fun uh thought process type stuff um and i guess that's that's a great thing about being being out on the other side of like you know graduating and being on the other side you can then figure out okay what is it that i missed and then you can build up and, 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 and add to that <laughs>